right now, I want to bring in the Hall of Famer, Ty Law, who is obviously with the Patriots for 10 years, five years as a teammate of Tom Brady. They won three Super Bowls together. Ty, good morning. Can you up Stephen A and I? Yeah, there I got is. you. Good morning. My good brother. Morning. And, 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 and hey, how can I know, Stephen A? <laughs> what's up, big time? What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm good, good. I said when they called me, I said I had to come because I owe Stephen A when I owe him this for many years ago. You know what I'm talking about. When you came to yeah. my house, yeah. I did not do a good job. You was on to come up doing your thing. I said I would not talk to nobody but Stephen A. Smith, and he came down there, and I blew it. <laughs> but thank <laughs> you, you for coming. Fine, man. You, you were fine. Up, That's bro. all right. That's all right, man. But, but you right. didn't forget. Right. And I forgot you guys also have the Michigan connection as well. So, Ty, thank you so much for right. being with us. Talk to me about what made Tom different, because obviously you played with a lot of uh, incredible players with those Patriots teams. Uh, he was wired different from uh, day one. I mean, he always came in with uh, that competitiveness. He was always cool, calm, under pressure. And uh, when he got into the huddle, he just did his job. You know, he, 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 he grew into who he is today. He didn't come in, you know, with the hype and all the forklow behind him coming out of college. So, uh, he's just wired different. And I'll give you an a example. We went out to a team dinner one time, and um, Tom, he was like, you know what? I ain't giving this SHIT back. And I was sitting there like, you know what? That's the spirit. He told me, myself and Lori Malloy that, but we was like, you know, Drew just signed a $100 million contract, but when Tom took the helm, he absolutely told himself that he is not giving this job back. And I think that's saying something to the character of who he is, because when you sign a $100 million contract, I was like, that's the spirit. You're supposed to think like that. But at the same time, in this game, in this business, that does not happen. And he bet on himself. He knew he was not going to ever come off the field and is still showing 22 years later from that moment. Ty, I've always been interested in asking, you know, especially in the modern day era, you guys uh, this question, because when Tom Brady first came on board and first took over, a lot of people don't remember. The defense of the New England Patriots was pretty damn elite. And basically, you know what? Y'all were the faces of the franchise. Now, obviously, once Tom Brady right. came on, things changed to some degree. But you rolled that defense to Super Bowl titles. My question to you is this. When did you guys know he was the one? Because you got to earn y'all respect. Y'all weren't just going to right. give it to him just because Bill Belichick said to give it to him or Tom Brady wanted it and he wasn't giving it. It's one thing not to give the job back to Drew Bledsoe. It's another thing entirely mm -hmm. to earn the respect right. of your elite veterans who's carrying this team. When did y'all say, it's him? Ain't no question about it. Well, one, because he came in and he kept his head down and he just did his job. He wasn't trying to say, follow me as a quarterback. You know, we had Drew Bledsoe right there. He would just come there to prove himself to us that he was worthy uh, and to himself. And then second, I mean, this might be minor, Stephen A. Molly, listen, but mm -hmm. when you're in the jumping all around button heads and shoulder pads, Tom was always in the middle. Now, I've never been a part of a team that the quarterback is in the middle hitting people harder than linemen, button heads. So I knew there was something special about him right there because as a quarterback, you got to, at that, in those times, you had to be considered crazy to be in the middle, button heads with offensive line, defensive line, as hard as he was doing it, and he's just getting out there. You're going to get a concussion before you take a snap. So I knew it was something about Tom right there, but he earned our respect by going out there, not making mistakes, and keeping his head down because at that time, the defense were, was the leader of our team. You know, everything, uh, you know, mm -hmm. filtered around and through the defense, and Tom came out there, and he just made that his team over time. Ty, I want to ask you about this. Sometimes when we're talking about some of the best athletes, they're the ultimate competitors. They have to be a little bit me first, not team first, right, to get mm. the job done, to have that laser focus. But with Tom, it appears to be different. It appears that he is team first. So what I want to know more so is about him as a person. Tom Brady, mm. the guy, what type of person is he? Tom, he's one of those guys, he's the most unassuming superstar that you're probably ever going to meet. He's one of those personal guys. He knows everybody. I still don't know how he knows every single person on that team be, uh, and who he plays with. He knows about their family, similar to Mr. Crab. I mean, I don't know how they do it because some guys that came in for a cup of coffee, I wouldn't remember. I'm going to be honest with you. But Tom is that type of guy that everyone just grab, gravitates to him, and he takes the time 
for everybody. So that was what made him a great leader. Not only was he a, a, a great player, but he was a leader amongst men. And people followed that. He took that responsibility, and that made him different from anybody else because – Coming, coming up from Little League all the way to the pros, the quarterback was usually set on this type of pedestal. Yes, you're the leader of the team. The media, they put you on this type of pedestal. But Tom, around the guys, he would step off that pedestal and just be one of the guys, and that's what made him great. And take Let, the time, Stephen. A. Take, take the, the time to know everybody. Without, without question. My yeah. last question right. to you, Tyra, this three-time Super Bowl champion that we're listening to right now, my last question to you would be this. As we reflect on the career of Tom Brady, it almost comes across as if there's nothing more to be said. We just have to regurgitate the same superlatives that we've been throwing out there, same laudables that we've been throwing out there about him. But if there's something about him that nobody has said, that you noticed, that you think needs to be said, if there is anything, what would that be in your eyes? Look at his longevity and look at what he was working with, not taking anything away from any of the guys that helped him become who he is. But he won championships without Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Terrell Owens, and some of the other great receivers that, uh, that we know and that we think about when it, when, you, when it comes to that position, who usually helps make quarterbacks great. Tom, you could put anybody out there on the field with him, and he's going to find a way to win. He's going to get him the ball. So I think that's what makes him special. I think that needs to be talked about more. He uh, A career that's expanded uh, three decades and still playing at the highest level. And I just want to say something because I know he's not on, 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 on there with y'all right now. Mm -hmm. But if I was Tom Brady, because I'm a little bit pettier, <laughs> I would go to Costa Rica and I would call Max Kellerman. Now I'm going to jump off my cliff. I'm going to jump off it right now with a cannonball, and I might be holding up these, but it wouldn't be fist. Now I'm going to jump off the cliff. Now he did it his way on his time, and I'm happy for him, and he's the greatest ever did it, not only just as a quarterback, but he's the greatest football player who's ever played the game, and I was glad to be uh, – I'm just glad to be a small part of that and seeing him, seeing him grow and, and being, uh, being his teammate. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.